Hi guys, good day. This is Teacher MJ and our topic for today, it's all about parallelogram. We are told to find the x values for us to find the sides. Now class, this is more complicated than the first video that we had. Since the first video that we had, sides are already given, angles are already given, and you are just told to find the other sides and the other angles. And we talk about the properties of parallelogram. So it is important for you to see the first video that we had before you proceed with this one. So I will put the link in the description below with regards to the first video. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now do not forget if there are two diagonals inside the parallelogram and E is the midpoint of these two diagonals. Therefore, this line AE, okay, this line AE is congruent to line CE. Right, line AE is congruent to line CE, and line B, BE is congruent to line DE. Okay, line DE. You can actually write ED. Okay, that's the same line ED. All right, line EDE or line ED. That's actually the same class, but the thing there, most of the students or most of the mathematicians, they arrange this one in al in alphabetical. Okay. So, line DE or line ED, that's actually the same. Alright, so, now if this if these two sides are congruent, so we can equate this one to find the X values. Okay, we are told to find line CE, this side. Uh, this line, we are told to find this line. Line AC, line BE, and line BD. Okay. So, we've, we first, we solve for line CE. So, therefore, these two sides... There's two lengths are congruent, so therefore we can say that line AE is congruent to line CE. So if AE is 6, 6x minus 3, this is 6x minus 3 equals CE is equivalent to 3x plus 9. So to find the value of x, okay, to find the value of x, transpose 3x from right to left. So 6x minus 3x equals okay then transpose 3 from left to right change the sign do not forget this one class once you transpose an equation from right to left left to right you always change the sign so 9 copy 9 positive 9 3 is negative it becomes positive 6x minus 3x this is 3x equals 9 plus 3 is 12 divide both sides by 3 to get the value of x so x equals 4 okay so x equals 4 therefore substitute the value of x from this given equation okay you can substitute 4 from this equation or from this equation that will be the same answer so let's substitute 4 from line ae so 6x minus 3 substitute 4 this is 6 times 4 minus 3 6 times 4 is 24 minus 3 so this is 21 therefore line ae is equivalent to 21 okay so this is 21 so the, this is 21 okay if this is 21 therefore this line is also 21 because ae is congruent to ce because e is the midpoint okay you divide this diagonal into half therefore this line is equivalent to this line so ce is equivalent to 21 even if we check that one okay let's try to check okay what if we, we check sir okay go ahead we check x is 4 so 3x plus 9 3 times 4 plus 9 12 plus 9 is still 21 so ce 9 ce is 21 all right so this is 21 now we find uh ce okay ce is Okay, C E is twenty one, and A C, A C. So if this is twenty one, C E is twenty one. So A C that would be twenty one plus twenty one. Since we we need to add A E and C E to get A C. So twenty one plus twenty one is forty two. So A C is forty two. Right next, we find line. We find line B E. So B E. And BD, we are told to find BE and BD. So don't forget this one class, BE is equivalent to DE. 
So BE, line BE is equivalent or congruent to line DE. BE is congruent to line DE. Right? So this is uh, th this is one of the properties of parallelogram. If we cut it, it if we cut this parallelogram into half or diagonal into half, so this line is equivalent to this line. So BE is 5x plus 2 equals DE is 3x plus 8. So to get the value of x, transpose 3x from right to left. So this is 5x, change the side, minus 3x equals, copy 8, then 2 will be, since this is positive, you transpose that from left to right, it becomes negative. 5x minus 3x is 2x equals, 8 minus 2 is 6. Divide both sides by 2, divide both sides by 2. So x equals 3. So x equals 3. Alright, so if this is 3, substitute the value of 3 from this given equation, BE. So BE, line BE, is equivalent to 5x plus 2. Substitute 3 from x from this equation. x is 3, so 5 times 3 plus 2. So 5 times 3 is 15 plus 2, that would be 17. So BE is 17, so this is 17. So, if this is 17, BE is 17, DE must be also 17. So, BE is 17. So, BD, so 17 plus 17, that would be 30, 34. So, BD is 34. Alright? So, that's it. That's how you solve for this given example. Let's try another example. One last example for us to solve the over for this parallelogram. So once again class, do not forget to see the first video that we had. Okay, the basic, solving basic parallelograms before you solve for this example. Okay, let's try another example. One last example. All right, so we are told to find ST, so line, this, this, this line, okay. So to find the equivalent of this, this side, no, we are told to find ST, side ST. So to find side ST, do not forget that side ST is congruent to side RQ. Okay, opposites, according to the properties of parallelogram, opposite sides are congruent. So we can say that ST, okay, ST, side ST is congruent to side RQ. Sir, why is that? Because that's according to the properties of parallelogram. Opposite sides are congruent. So side ST, that would be 2x plus 15 equals side RQ, that's 5x. Okay. Now, you can transpose 2x from left to right. Okay, transpose 2x from left to right so that uh, the equation will, the x will not be become x will not be become negative because if you transpose 5x from right to left, this will be 2x minus 5x. x will be negative. So, do not forget this one class that x equals 3 is the same with 3 equals x. This is actually the same. Do not forget this one. x equals 3 is the same with 3 equals x. This is the same. So, for you to solve for this one, since 5x is on the right side, okay, just transpose 2x from left to right so that x will not be become negative. Okay? So x equals 3. Once again, x equals 3 is the same with 3 equals x. This is actually the same. Okay? This is the same. So it's better for us to transpose 2x from left to right so that the equation will not be become negative. Okay? Because if you transpose 15x from right to left, so it becomes negative 5x then plus 2x. And that would be negative 3x. That's more complicated for you to answer. So just, so just transpose 2x from left to right. So 5x, copy 5x, 2x, transpose it from left to right, it becomes negative 2x. Simply copy 15. Okay, copy 15. 
we need to do that so that on the right side it will be all x on the left side it should be a number okay so this will be 5x minus 2x that's 3x copy 15 to get the value of x divide both sides by 3 cancel and our x is x is 5 so x equals 5 x equals 5. So therefore, substitute the value of x. So x equals 5. So this is 2x plus 15. x is 5. So x equals 5. So 2 times 5 plus 15. So 2 times 5 is 10 plus 15. That's equivalent to 25. So st, excuse st, is equivalent to 25 or sine st is, is equals to 25 so even if we substitute the value of 5 from this rq so that would be the same so this is st side st let's try rq rq we check x is 5 so 5x this is rq 5x 5 times 5 this becomes 25. 5 times 5 is 25. Same answer. It's because, according to the properties of parallelogram, opposite sides are congruent. So that's why they have the same answer. So let's try to solve for this one. We are told to find angle Q. Okay, find angle Q and find angle T. Okay, angle Q. So to find angle Q, do not forget this one class, that opposite angles are congruent so opposite angles are congruent so angle q is congruent to angle s so the same value if, if this is 30 this should be 30 because that's according to the properties of program opposite sides are congruent so this is angle q is congruent to angle s that's according to the properties of parallelogram so angle q is 6x minus 10 equals angle s is 3x plus 5 to get the value of x, transpose. Okay, transpose 10. So this is 6x. 3x minus uh, transpose. This is positive. It becomes negative. Equals copy 5. 10, it is negative. It becomes positive. Plus 10. So this is 6 minus 3. This is 3x. 6x minus 3x is 3x equals... 5 plus 10 is 15. To get the value of x, divide both sides by 3. So, x equals 5. So, x equals 5. To get the value of this angle, okay, x equals 5. So, this is, substitute the value. Okay, this is 6x minus 10. Angle, this is angle Q. Okay, let, x equals 5. Do not forget this one, class. x equals 5. Let me erase this one. If x equals 5, substitute the value of x. Angle Q is 6x minus 10. If, okay, if x is 5, so substitute the value of 5. 6 times 5 minus 10. x is 5, so 6 times 5 is 30 minus 10. This is 20. So, angle Q is 20. How about angle S? Let's check angle S. Angle S, 3x plus 5. 3 times x is 5 plus 5. 3 times 5 is 15 plus 5 is 20. Same. Because opposite angles are congruent. So, angle Q is 20. Okay, angle Q is 20. And angle T... Now, sir, how will, you, how will we find angle T? If this is 20, okay, angle Q is 20. If this is 20, how will you find angle T? Now, do not forget that consecutive angles are supplementary. Consecutive angles are supplementary. What do you mean by that one, sir? Okay, the sum of two angles is 180. So, angle Q and angle T, the sum of these two angles, it should be 180 because consecutive angles are congruent that's according to its properties so if this is q so q plus r it should be 180 r plus s it should be 180 s plus t it should be 180 t plus q it should be 180 so we can say 
Do not forget this property class that consecutive angles must be supplementary. So the, tam, the sum of two angles must be supplementary. That's according to its properties. So we can say that angle Q plus angle T is equals to 180. Sir, where did you get that? That's according to its properties. That consecutive angles are supplementary. Consecutive. Okay, this one. RS, ST, TQ. So angle Q plus angle T it should be 180. Angle Q, the value of angle Q is 20. So, this is 20 plus angle T equals 180 degrees. So, to get angle T, transpose 20 degrees from left to right. Angle Q, okay, do not forget, angle Q is 120 degree, uh, 20 degrees. So, angle T equals 180 degrees. Subs, substitute, uh, no, transpose 20 degrees from left to right. It becomes negative 20 degree so angle t equals 180 minus 1 uh, minus 20 that would be 160 so angle t is 160 degrees so if this is 160 degrees angle t is 160 degrees so angle r must be 160 degrees why is that sir because opposite angles are congruent so that's it class for the parallelogram, finding the x values. So if you like this video, do not forget to subscribe. You share it to your friends, to your classmates. I hope you learned a new lesson today. And you ha if you have questions, please do not forget to leave a comment. Okay, leave a comment because we will answer that one with the help of your classmates. And I will also answer that one. So you have a great day and goodbye for now. Bye-bye.